Hi there and welcome to another GIMP tutorial for beginners. Today I'm gonna show you how to use a very cool tool called Paths Tool. What it does is it creates paths or curves that you can adjust, edit or move around before actually turning them into lines. This makes it much easier to draw even complex pictures. So let's go ahead and start. First I'm gonna go over to the toolbox and select the Paths Tool. Then go back to the canvas and try to make some curves. I'm gonna add a few points by just clicking on a layer. Click, click, click. Any new point gets connected to the previous one. Okay, now we go to the right panel over here and you can see the path you've just created. If for some reason your path becomes hidden or you wanna reuse a path, you can go to this section to find the paths that you've created so far. Next thing you can do with the path is move the points around. You just go ahead and select the points you want to move. A selected point gets some kind of square on top of it. Then you just drag the points around to get the shape you want. If you want to delete a point, just go ahead and select it and then press the backspace key. It's a hot key in my GIMP. I hope it's the same in yours. If you want to add a new connected point to the path, you just go and select some point and then click somewhere off the path. Next cool thing you can do is make your path curvy. To do this, hold the control key, go somewhere in the middle of a connection, press the left mouse button and then drag a new point upwards or downwards to curve the whole thing. You can see that the new point has some lines sticking out of it and each line has a little square. By moving these lines and squares, you can adjust the shape of the curve. Try moving them around to see how they affect the shape. Another way to curve your path is to grab and drag a connection between some points. You can see that this also changes the curvature of the path. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to loop the path. To do this, go ahead and select one point at one end of the curve, then hold the control key and click on the other end of the curve. And we got a new connection right here and the curve became looped. Let's say we decided we don't need this path anymore or we don't like it for some reason and want to completely delete it. To do this, go to the path panel, select a path and press the recycle bin button down here to remove it. Another situation is when we decide to create several curves at the same time. I'm gonna start by creating a brand new path the way we did it before. Then to start another path, you hold the shift key and click somewhere on the layer. And here we go, we've got a point that is not connected to the first path. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add a few new points to build the second path. And again, to start another path, just hold shift and click somewhere on the layer. Finally, we've got three curves right here. And now I'm gonna show you how to move one of the curves or even move all of them all together. If you wanna move the whole thing, you just hold the Alt key and drag it around. But if you wanna move a single segment, hold the Alt key and drag only the segment you wanna move. Now I'm gonna delete this path and think about creating some real drawing. Say I wanna draw a tree leaf. So I'm gonna start off by creating a line and then I'm gonna add a new point somewhere in the middle of the line and drag it upwards to make a curve like this. Then select the right point and click several times to add a few new connected points. That'll be the tail of the leaf. Hold the control key and click on the far left point to loop the curve. Then, while holding the control key, click somewhere in the middle of the last connection. This will add a new point on it. Drag this point downwards to curve the leaf. Now I'm gonna do a few minor adjustments to make it look a little bit more like a leaf. What I really like about this path tool is that if you are not very good at creating perfect shapes from scratch, by using this tool you can adjust the shape before actually turning it into a real line. 
It makes the whole drawing thing way much easier. Once we've done with the shape, it's time to convert it into a line. I'm gonna go over to the toolbox and change the foreground color to black. Then go to the menu, edit, stroke path. I'm gonna set the line thickness to 10 pixels and then click stroke. For now, we don't need the path anymore and I'm gonna press B to hide it. But you can always access it in the right panel over here. Just double click the path you wanna use and it'll appear on the canvas. Now let's try to fill the leaf with color. One way to do it is actually using the path we have created for the leaf. Make sure you have this path visible on the canvas and make sure the middle GIMP window is active. Then I'm gonna press the Enter key to turn it into a selection. You can see a dashed line here indicating that this area is now selected. Go over to the left panel and change the foreground color to green. Then take the bucket fill tool and click within the selected area. And also go to the menu and select None to remove the selection. Well, in this tutorial we have covered almost everything you need to know to get started drawing your own cool things using the pass tool. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I really hope it helped you understand how to use this cool feature in GIMP called Pass Tool. You may also like to check out my drawing lessons on how to draw cool cartoon characters and stuff. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe or comment. Any feedback is appreciated. Thanks for watching.